Good afternoon, Primpane. <laughs> it's time for me to call it a night, and I'm just barely starting. At least I should call it a night because it's after six, and I need to try harder to be done with work at six. But it's not gonna happen today. I'll probably be done by seven. Today was a very busy morning. Um, what I thought was going to be pretty much nothing to do turned out to be a few orders. We had a poster print that the customer wanted today. And then we had some postcards that got ordered and I tried to do those the same day. They pay for delivery, so got those done since I was out and about already. Stopped by the PO box, got a check, so that's always nice. Um, the customer that paid me didn't pay their other two invoices that are older than that one, so I sent them reminders today because I'm assuming that they missed it for some reason. Um, working on a couple sticker orders as well as a window decal, which is basically a giant sticker. I use those terms interchangeably. Um, that one, I'm hoping they say no. It's a second story window and I just don't want to install it. I'm going to quote them to install it and I'm going to quote enough that I can pay someone else to install it, but I really hope that they don't want me to do it. Um, but yeah, what? Like I said, what I thought was gonna be a slow day ended up being a pretty decent day. And I wanted to kind of go over one of the common questions that I keep getting. So let's answer that question. So the question, as you probably know from the title of the video, is where I get my print business. Now, I've been doing it for many, many years, almost 11. So a lot of my business is word of mouth, but you'd be surprised at how many of my customers don't realize that like everything that I do. So probably the biggest ways that I get business are friends and family and word of mouth from those, as well as word of mouth from existing businesses. But as an example, I did some masks for someone that I know and one of my larger customers saw the Facebook post saying hey I got these masks from Darren he did a great job hit him up if he needs them and he messaged me saying oh I need masks and that's a lot my fault what I would recommend that you do is set up an email list and actually email your customers frequently with hey this is what's been going on these are some products we're doing these are some popular products right now it's what I should do but I don't but it's on my list of things to do a great way to do email lists especially starting out for free is MailChimp now another way that I get business is BNI which I've talked about it before and today is kind of why I want to talk about it because I had BNI this morning BNI is a weekly business networking meeting that you do pay for so it's a pay to play kind of thing and um so with that um basically you meet with other business owners and you ask for referrals so this week i specifically asked for um help with wedding announcements if people knew anyone that was getting ma married or event planners um i'd love to connect with them and it's just a way that every week you can ask for referrals and you have a group of people that are actively trying to pass you referrals because they're expecting you to also try to pass them referrals. And it's not that you pass referrals every week, but you do have goals and you try to and you do your best to help them expand their business because they help you expand yours. Kind of the last place that I get business would be social media. So I'm a part of some groups there's one here in utah that has a bunch of businesses in it that it's kind of like a bni alternative um and it helps because all my bni members refer me but people go on there and they ask questions um, i also i'm just in some like city facebook groups that people ask for questions or sure where get stuff gets done and so i'll get tagged and stuff in that and it comes down to more it, it tends to be word of mouth rather than social media because it's 
people I know that are saying, hey, Darren does that, you should talk to him. But if I were to like wipe the slate clean and say I'm starting from scratch, I would recommend starting an online store and kind of focusing on a few products, build that out, and then pick a couple of like niches or niches, whatever you decide to call it, and target those, go after those, as well as just let people that you know, friends, family, neighbors, let them know what you do so that they can start referring you and helping you. Um, like one of my neighbors, he was going to someone else for stuff and come to find out I was actually doing it. So he's like, well, why am I buying it from them if you're the one making it, selling it to them, and then I'm buying it from them, I'll just buy it from you. And I only he only found out because he came over and he's like, storage filled up, that was like a good stop. But he was like, wait a minute, how come you have my stuff here? And I was like, oh, I'm making it. And he was like, what? So I wouldn't have mentioned it to him, Frank, I didn't know it was his business. I didn't know the name of his business. Um, but I don't like to step on the toes of the people that do wholesale business with me. Um, I'm surprised that none of them have had me sign like NDAs or non-competes um, when it relates to the businesses that they refer me. But I do try to be honest because I would want people to be honest with me. So that's kind of how I roll. I'm sure not everyone is that way. But... Like I said, if I were starting out from scratch, I would start an email list, start an online product or two, and then pick a couple of niches, niches, and then kind of expand from there. I would also only start with one or two machines, um, and if by two machines I would be like correlating machines, like I would have the printer and the cutter because those go together, or I would have the Konica and the Duplo, or the Konica and a stack cutter. I wouldn't do what I did, I'd buy everything because that causes problems but that's my little two cents of advice So it's 7.30. I need to call it a night. I need to go inside. We're recording a podcast tomorrow with Derek. I'm recording a podcast tomorrow with Derek. So I got to get up and get going so that we can do that in the morning. So today was a good day. I hope you learned something. I hope you can take a little bit of my advice and apply it to your own business. If you are an existing business, if you don't have an email list, that would be the thing that I would advise you do. Because 
when I do send emails to my customers, it usually turns into business. I just don't do it enough. I also don't have all my customers on that list. So that's another thing I should work on. But in the meantime, if you have any questions about what I do, why I do it, how I do it, etc., leave those questions down in the comments. Thank you, Cam, for any the videos. I really appreciate you. If you guys want to support the channel, you can do so with the links down in the description. Patreon, Amazon Affiliate, custom orders, all that fun stuff. If you do have a custom order or have a custom question, ttmakesomething at gmail.com. As always, Print Fam, I appreciate you being here. Thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, sharing with friends, all that fun stuff. We'll see you in tomorrow's vlog. Huge shout out to our patrons over at patreon.com forward slash ttms. So, uh, power went out. Thanks for the light, Wendy. And I can never remember Dan or Doug. Thank you for the lights. They're very helpful. Sadly, my power's out. I was going to work more. Not anymore.